line of chords. So that was. It's like you're playing a single line. But... And we're supposed to be doing accompaniment, and what are we doing getting in the way of the singer? Well, the truth is, it won't really get in the way of the lead singer. I definitely live up in here, even while my singer's up in here. Sometimes I'm above her. You might hear a lot of older guys say, stay out of the singer's way and just live with this right. three part chords, do like a Freddie Green thing. Yeah. It's not necessary, it's fun. I love doing that too, but you can really get up in here and compliment what she's doing if, if she doesn't mind. You won't be in her way if she's singing. That's a good I mean, it just has its own life. And it's not, her thing is still soaring. You know, it's going to be the most prominent feature you're going to take away. But you notice we really are. She's singing. Actually, a singer, a normal alto voice singer. She'd be here. And you're going. You guys are right in the same territory. But the tone of the singer's voice. I'm a poor singer at best. At best. But I'll try and do this more stably now. It doesn't get in the way, does it? This stuff? No. Uh, so in really case you're worried that you were supposed to do these lower ones when you're doing the accompaniment. I'm saying singer, but it's true if a guy's got a horn yeah. or a flute or another guitar player blowing lines, blowing the head of the tune. So you won't think yourself impolite if you're doing it this way, okay? Okay. Now let's talk about the arrangement a little bit that you took from this um, thing where you had this kind of... Show me again that yeah, so was, uh, I remember writing it out. So already we have this. Now what's that doing there when the fake book says that you're doing that? Um, well, you're, you're, it's a half-step approach, right? Well, the fake book says A minor 7, yeah. D7. So we seem to have gotten rid of those chords. So in what sense is A flat related to the chords we've gotten rid of? Yeah, you're right, though, about half-step. If there weren't a D chord written there, but since there is a D and an A minor before it, yeah, now here, okay, the first chord. Let's do this. Take the D7 and play, let's say, like a D7, D7 sharp 9. Take the bass off. Put A flat in the base of your thumb instead. They're all about the same. Right. They both approach G something or other if you wanted to, right? Mm -hmm. So because this was noticed years ago that dominant chords in that relationship of a flat five or sharp four share almost the exact same notes.